Following in the rest of the Trump family's footsteps, Eric Trump also relocated to the state of Florida, purchasing a new mansion there in spring 2021 for $3.2 million. In fact, this current Tuscan style estate he shares with his wife Laura and family is only a few minutes away from his brother Donald Trump Jr.'s own home in the Jupiter area. Prior to this, Eric was splitting his time between his main home in Manhattan and a weekend retreat in Westchester, New York. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Not the first born Trump and also not in the public eye as much as his siblings Donald Jr. or Ivanka, Eric Trump is a bit more private, yet still a key part of the Trump family business and legacy. He's a businessman, activist, and more, as well as the third child of Donald Trump and the late Ivana Trump. While well, these days, Eric is a trustee and executive vice president of the Trump Organization, alongside his older brother, Donald Jr. While E! News described Eric and his wife, Lara, as the most normal, least controversial Trump couple, they still are Trumps after all. And just like the rest of his family, he gave up his New York State lifestyle once his father, Donald Trump Sr., lost the 2020 presidential election. Moving to Florida with the rest of them. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, seeing where Eric Trump calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. The youngest born of Donald Trump Sr. and his first wife, the late Ivana Trump, Eric was born in 1984 while his family was living in a lavish Fifth Avenue property. Despite growing up in New York City, the Trumps would vacation and spend weekends at Donald and Ivana's other trophy homes in Connecticut and Florida. While Eric started living his life in 800 Fifth Avenue, soon after came the infamous Trump Tower where the family moved into a massive unit dripping in 24 karat gold. And despite this home staying in the family and serving as a setting for special occasions, Eric soon went off to boarding school with his older brother, Donald Jr. The iconic Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Donald Sr.'s current residence, was also a place the family spent a ton of time while Eric was growing up. Just like his brother, Eric married his partner, Lara Unaska, now Lara Trump, at Mar-a-Lago as well. In 1996, Donald Sr. also purchased the 230-acre Westchester Seven Springs estate with intentions to turn it into a golf club but it became more of a family retreat instead. 50,000 square foot Seven Springs Estate was where Eric and Donald Jr. were brought into the family business, being involved in the property's renovations and landscaping, as well as much more. After graduating from Georgetown University, Eric joined the Trump Organization, so it was almost inevitable that he would also acquire a Trump property of his own. Let's take a look at his starter home in this case. Back in 2007, Eric paid a rumored two million dollars for his apartment, which was a 1,350 square foot unit on the top floor of the Trump Park East development, which overlooked Central Park. Later on in 2016, it was reported that his father, Donald Trump, got real estate developers to sell Eric two next door apartments in the building for mere 350K each, which is about half of the price that they were advertised at. Well, Eric's three apartments were combined to make up a 2,675 square foot penthouse unit unit, boasting four beds and five baths. What was once his bachelor pad became he and his wife Lara's family home after they got married in 2014. And the open layout provided plenty of room for them and their children. From photos, we can see the Manhattan penthouse had an upscale kitchen with stainless steel appliances and views of the city, as well as a combined living space with family room and fireplace, as well as a formal dining area with full bar and chandelier. There were also a handful of children's rooms or nurseries, while the master suite offered an attached bath, dressing room, and more. After Donald Sr. lost the 2020 election, Eric listed this home for rent in early 2021 for about 17 k per month, but removed the listing shortly after. Regardless, he and his family still moved on to Florida. Another place that Eric seemingly left behind when moving to the Sunshine State was his family retreat in Westchester. Since spending so much of his time at his father's Seven Springs property when he was young, Westchester, New York always was special to Eric. And because of that, he and his wife bought their own vacation 
Vacation Mansion in a nearby area. Called Briarcliff Manor, this estate was known for having some famous and wealthy families call this place home before. Eric kept the mansion very private, so the price and exact details are unknown, but the couple has shown glimpses of the property on social media. Eric and his family used to split their time between their Manhattan penthouse and this weekend getaway before moving on, and this place was ideal to escape the city. Briarcliff Manor had a rustic feel with a mix of contemporary style throughout, with double height windows to take in the views. It seems that much like their former Manhattan apartment, the Westchester home also had a neutral color scheme and was definitely not opulent or flashy like Eric's childhood homes either. These days, Eric and his wife Laura are living in a South Florida home with their kids close to the rest of the Trump clan, especially his older brother Donald Jr., who reportedly lives only five miles away. Property records show that Eric paid $3.2 million for a stunning Tuscany style home in Jupiter, Florida, a town in Palm Beach County and also close to the family's Mar-a-Lago property. In fact, the home is inside the Trump National Golf Club community of Jupiter and is said to be the largest one there. Some sources report that the home spent 7,715 square feet of space, while others peg it at just under 10,000 square feet. But we do know that there are five beds and 5.5 baths throughout. Eric closed on the home back in spring 2021, just shortly after his brother made the move to the area. Listing materials show the 2004 built house with a slightly dated interiors and a much darker feel. But in newer photos, we can see that the entire mansion was lightened up and recently renovated. Now, the ivy covered abode offers a clean and modern interior with open concept living areas, one of which is a double height great room with marble fireplace and wall of French doors out to the pool. In the gourmet kitchen, the pale color scheme continues where it looks bright and almost all white. This space is decked out in marble, white cabinets, as well as the newest designer appliances, including Wolf and Sub-Zero. According to Instagram, the whole family, including the kids, seem to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Eric and Lara's upscale master suite offers double closets as well as a safe room, while the design is slightly glamorous but still tasteful. There is also a seating area, private terrace, and spa-style bathroom decked out in polished marble. Out in the yard, you'll find amenities like an outdoor kitchen with dining area, a pool cabana with full bath, and of course, a stunning swimming pool, which is all situated on over half an acre of landscaped grounds. Despite having to move on from their life in New York, living on a property like this in Florida might just feel like a full-time getaway for Eric Trump and his family. Well, that's gonna conclude this house tour. After looking at the homes of Eric Trump, what did you think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.